So I just got done with my workout. Judy's taking a break, a much deserved quiet break. No kids. But I'm here hanging out with my friend, Michael. Hello. Food with Michael, but you type in Michelle, okay? M-I-C-H-E-L, amazing content. Um, he's bringing me somewhere. I have no idea what we're eating. <laughs> The secret. Oh, it's a secret. So yeah. I'm gonna show you. I love this because normally I'm taking people around, uh, you know, Tokyo at least on this trip, and now Michael is taking me. So thank you so much. Awesome. Oh yeah, it smells amazing. I don't know what it is. I'm smelling, but awesome. I don't know what that is, but it looks like burgers. Michael's ordering for me, which is awesome. When you have a host that orders for you, it's called omakase. One thing I love is. He didn't even uh, tell me or ask me. He just said, let, let me just pick something. I'm like, that's pretty cool. All right, so they've got these little stools everywhere. There's kind of a bar. And then they've got a little grill here, but they've got a huge grill over there as you already saw. Oh my God, I have to tell the story, Michael. So Michael and I, we've been kind of going back and forth about what to do. Judy used to be here. Um, our schedules are kind of crazy. First off, thank you so much for meeting with me. He sent me the location and it was Moss Burgers, which is similar to an in and out It's not as good as in and out in my opinion. It's still, you know, it's a decent burger. But I was like, oh bro, I'm not gonna waste my calories on a place I've already been. Let's just meet at my hotel because I'm at this fancy hotel. I was like, let me treat you out. He's like, oh no, we're, we're just meeting there. I was like, okay, cool, you know? So anyways, uh, just funny story because I don't know how, if someone invited you to a McDonald's in the state, though maybe it's okay to would you recommend something else? Of course. Because, you know, Why we're would foodies. I go to McDonald's? Yeah, yeah, we, we want to try something new. So it was just funny because, you know, Michael and I were friends, but we don't know each other that well. So it was a little uncomfortable saying it, but when you truly love food, you're not going to waste your calories on something you already ate, right? Um, what'd you think when I said that? I was like, bro, let's not. I figured that's what you're going to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, no, 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 we're just meeting here. Just okay, meeting cool, here. yeah. Because everyone has trouble finding this restaurant. So I was like, we'll just meet here and then we'll go together. And by the way, we're in Tokyo, right? So it's very nice having a host that understands the area because there's some restaurants that don't even have signs where it's not obvious. It's really hard. So um, I'm very grateful for my goal and I'm looking forward to, what is it by the way that we're eating? Hambagu. Hambagu, okay, cool. It's like hamburger, but much better. Yeah. Much better than most burger. No, no hate towards Moss no, Burgers. Though. It yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so these are all the common ones. Yeah. Uh, this one's my favorite. Okay. And then sometimes I'll add a little bit of this, which is a little spicy. All right. But since it's your first time, you should definitely just try everything. Cool. Thing. You know what I'm going to do? No, just... The... Oh, cool. Oh, got it. So I can try a whole bunch. Yeah. And look here. Uh, this is common right now. A lot more English menus coming out. I think the Olympics really helped do that, even though the Olympics didn't happen. Um, <laughs> Uh, look, and even on here they've got some, oh, they have the process of how they make everything. So that's cool. Freshly grilled, important. Freshly cooked, very important. Freshly grounded, super important. So I even asked Michael to order me something. I, I got a lemon sour, are you guessing? Yes. And what did you get? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> it's just like fruits. Something. Well, it looks like it's got oranges in it, yeah. so looks refreshing nonetheless. Hi, hi. Okay, bye. Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm actually so thirsty, so this is perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Wow. Did you get what he said? He was talking about how the rice is finished and how the yeah, yeah. time is like the best. I think they washed it four times. Yeah. So, it, yeah. Rice is so much more important than most people, I think, know because it's, it's the next level quality and all rice is not the same. And I guess here they make sure to let you know that. And that's my burger, I guess. Michael says I have a drawer. Okay. Some more directions. Oh, these are the, the other directions. I'm actually gonna put this back. I got salt and pepper here. It looks like I got a napkin, which I'll definitely grab one of those. Got my chopsticks. Okay, that's pretty cool that they have a drawer there. I kind of want to do this at home. Like every person, yeah, everybody has their own drawer. Got some garlic here. Oh, yeah, this is 
the chili bean. Or, yeah, garlic. I'm just following Michael's lead right now. He's an expert at this place. So then you want to grab your plate. Oh, grab my plate. Okay, so got it. Hey, I told you about my story about my Laos friend. Yes. I'll tell you this, the spiciest food I ever had was Laos food. I, I mean, I, I, I don't think there's much that will compare other than maybe a... Uh, Indian? Indian, yeah, for sure. Louis just trying a little bit of everything. And this is the last one. Is it okay if I leave these here yeah. for now? There's all these spices that come on the side. This is what it looks like inside. I tried all of them. I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. Michael says don't drop it, so Please don't. <laughs> I feel I feel a little bit of pressure right now. Oh boy, oh boy. You know, the problem is trying to vlog this at the same time. There we go. Okay, cool. I didn't embarrass him, so I'm winning right now. Okay, cool. We're gonna try it. Mmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You wouldn't think you could take something as humble as a hamburger and elevate it to this level. Wow. That is amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of the, the green stuff right here. Okay. Is that a lot? For me, it is. You can not want that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> bomb. Bomb. It is spicy. Like it, it's trying to hit me. <laughs> I might regret it here in a second. We'll see. Michael, this is awesome. This is a perfect spot. Imagine if we really went to Moscow. <laughs> Sitting there with our hamburgers. The end of this should be us going there and making French fries at Mockery. Let's we'll just do it just for shit and giggle shit. That would be so funny. Mm. Oh my god. And the rice is a little bit so you want more rice. The rice, yeah. As I get older, I don't get as many refills. Mm. I know I could, and my stomach affords much, especially when it's just like this yeah, yeah. level. Because you get three patties, so. Oh, you, we're going to get more patties? Yeah, three patties. Okay, well then I'm definitely not going to get too many too much rice because I thought this was the one patty I was thinking. Wow, this is truly like a very Japanese thing. Oh, got something else going on now. Okay. And miso sauce. Oh, funny. I thought that was ketchup and mustard. Um, <laughs> should have known it's something more fancy than that. So you take your white radish. Okay. And then you pour your ponzi on top. Ah. Which is very common in Japan. Mm -hmm. You see this. Wow. Thank you. Alright, I guess we're gonna get three more patties, so I'm excited about that. Look at the plane. Look at that plane. And you know, it's a perfect medium rare. Right? On the inside, would you say? Yeah. By the way, this rice, next level. It's, don't take it lightly. Another bowl. Oh, I might have to. I was saying I was going to only do one, but I, I think I might have to do two. This hamburger. Oh, let me just show you how juicy it is. Look how juicy that is. Oh, baby. Super juicy. Radish with ponzu. Mmm. 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 Bomb. One thing that I love about Michael, he's just telling me what to do. He's not kind of like letting me choose. He's like, Benji, just do this. That, for me, is perfect. <laughs> There's a term called omakase in Japan. It's popular at sushi restaurants. I use it kind of in everyday life, especially in this context. It basically means, I trust your decision. Please pick for me. What I love about that, you're gonna try something that maybe you wouldn't otherwise try yourself. Because I was not gonna try this pizza, by the way. But I'm glad that now it's on my plate because I'm gonna try it. Honestly, I just didn't want to reach over his stuff, okay? Mm, mm. Don't skip out on the miso, that's what I say. Oh my god. I have a feeling Judy's gonna be jealous. <laughs> She's gonna be jealous that she didn't come. 
Okay. And watch. Judy is getting a break. Last two weeks have been so difficult <clears throat> for all of us, but especially Judy. Difficult, I would say in a good way, but still hard and challenging. This, frankly, is kind of a break even for me because this whole time I've been playing not only tour guide, but, you know, daddy and trying to be a really supportive husband. I love doing all those things. I haven't had a moment just to breathe and enjoy kind of some food being here in Tokyo. I've enjoyed everything I ate, but this is different because one, I would have not, never known about this place, so it's a new experience. Two, I'm not having to think. Michael's doing all the thinking for me. He even ordered for me. By the way, did you pay already? Well, I wanted to pay, but okay, well, thank you. Now I owe you, bro. Okay, I owe you. Um, so both me and Judy are really battling this time. Not just together, but for us. So you get free refills on rice, by the way, which is awesome. In terms of flavors, though, have we kind of tackled everything? Yeah. There isn't nothing else. Uh, there's in the egg, right? So when he brings back the egg or the rice, should I go grab that one? Okay, cool. I'll go get it. I'm just going to grab one for myself. By the way, am I supposed to crack the egg over here or over there? Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't want to touch your egg, but would you like an egg? Oh, yeah, yeah, please. Okay, cool. So I'll go get one more egg, okay? There you go. I didn't realize it's literally a raw egg. Yeah. Okay, I thought it was like one cent tomato or something. No, no, no. It's so it's like tomato tomato. Oh. Okay, guys, this is the last part of the meal. We got the raw egg. Got my last hamburger. And put it right on. You don't have to do this, it's totally optional, you guys. But you know me, I love my raw egg and rice. So. Last clip before we eat some french fries. <laughs> Just a cute bottle. Just a little bit, you guys, not too much. Here's the rice, you guys. Look at their gigantic, very obvious sign. This is what it's like sometimes with these restaurants, but that's what makes it kind of special. We don't have any seats today. There you go, we got lucky. The average tourist definitely won't see that or we even realize. It just kind of like blends in. They'll be like, what is this doing here? You know, and then they'll just move on. We're here in Shibuya. This is the area. Good luck finding it. We're literally just gonna get fresh fries. Um, do they have Pasmo? Well, I guess we could just use this. Uh, where's the French fries? Uh, no, uh, oh, here we go, French fries. So this says side of menu. Okay, side of menu, okay. We got French fries. Um, Want to share one and one we each? Choose two small. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's this one right here. Yeah. Bottom right. Bottom right again. Just wanted French fries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 